hi today we're going to be going over some of the home decor pieces that i got in the last month or so from target and h&m home i'll be sure to put item details in the description box below if you're interested since i'll be renovating my home later this year i've been collecting things as i've seen them pop up because as you know homeware has been a really hot category since most people are spending more time at home since i plan to get new beds once my renovation is over i decided to get some new bedding so first off i got got some bedding from H&M Home. These are the 100% cotton duvet covers from H&M and I've gotten them in the past and they last a really long time so they're really good quality. That one was a mauve pinkish color and then the next one is top or taupe I believe it's pronounced. So this is what that one looks like. And then finally I got a couple more girly duvet covers because that's what I'm into I suppose. So the first one is this one, which has some, uh, how do you call them? Ruffles? Yeah, there we go. Ruffles um, at the edges and a pinstripe. And I think this one is a cotton and linen blend. And then the next one is also the same material. However, it's uh, darker mauvey pink which I think will look really good with the bed I'm thinking of getting. It's also going to be a mauve lighter pink bed and it's going to be velvet so I think these will look good with it. Next up I got some candles. I'm really into candles and H&M Home has some really aesthetic ones. So the first one is this face candle and it's super cute. Hopefully the actual face is showing up. I know it's a little bit washed out because of the lighting, but if not, I will pop a picture up on the screen. This one is in the scent Sublime Patchouli, and I technically don't like patchouli, um, but this one is a little bit of a more subdued smell, and I mainly got it for the actual container so once the candle has been used up i will definitely be keeping this other candle related purchases were these golden candlesticks from h&m home as well they're same design but one is taller than the other so i figured this would be a nice look to have two tiered candles um i don't usually order candle holders like this for taper candles but i figured you can never have enough candles especially in the event that somehow you don't have electricity and also it's a pretty nice aesthetic if you're into that kind of thing i also got some marble pieces because i love all things marble so first thing i got was a marble tray and this is white marble with uh some brown veining in it and I love trays because they make every surface top look way more organized than it actually is. And this is from H&M Home as well. Next marble piece is also from H&M Home and it is these dark green coasters. I currently have white coasters. Hold on a second, I'll show you. So I have these, I'm not sure how many sides they are, but <laughs> these uh, marble coasters were from West Elm and they're pretty nice, but however, if you know anything about marble, they tend to, they're very porous, so they tend to absorb anything you put on them. And I like to put my coffee cup in them. So if coffee gets on it, it stains it uh, brown. I mean, obviously you can use a marble surface like protectant that prevents it from absorbing but like I haven't gotten to that level yet so I figured I would just get these darker coasters so that when I do put coffee on it or any drink that's not light and it spills then it's like not a big deal and then these are really nice I like the look of this green marble and if you can see over there um it's the same type of marble it's also a tray and that one I got from H&M so these are all the marble coasters together so this is what the set looks like next up I got a bunch of mirrored pieces and I'm really into mirrored pieces because I love anything that reflects light or makes my space look lighter because based on the state that I live in we don't get a lot of days of sunshine so I'll take anything to lighten up my room so first off I got this 
mirrored marble base, I suppose. So this is a uh, beige with uh, little bits of gold specks and whatnot. And it's pretty much just, I don't know what you call it, like a desktop accessory or like uh, something that you put on a console. I mean, I suppose if you had a vanity, you could use it on a vanity, but I don't use a vanity, so I won't be doing that. It's just there for decor reasons. So that's what that looks like. And then I decided to get another mirrored piece, which looks quite similar. However, it's quite larger. And I think it would look good, like I said before, on a console. And that's how they styled it on the website. And the previous one that I showed you was from H&M, as well as the next one that I'm going to show now. So this is the next one. As you can see, it's very large. It's like, I don't know, twice the size of my head. But it has like a base, so you can sit it up on a table. And then it has hooks on the back for if you decide to hang it on the wall as well. So it's pretty versatile in that way. And then from H&M again, as you can see, there's a theme here. I really love H&M Home and H&M in general. They have really good quality pieces at a decent price. The next one that I got was this rattan mirror. Um, it also has a tray at the bottom. This mirror's a little bit dusty from the rattan but i planned to put this in my entryway to hold my keys and things like that so that i don't have to keep on looking for them because i tend to just drop them off on any surface that i can find but i think this is like a good solution for keeping things that you need before you head out the house the next things that i got were a bunch of artwork and as it is now i don't actually have a lot of artwork in my house but i figured it's a nice way to add some interest to the walls and bring your home together at the same time so first off we have this piece here and this one is from Target. This is the Threshold line, and this is supposed to be a Ruben painting. However, when I googled Ruben's paintings, this was not one that showed up. According to Target, it's called The Gentleman. But whether or not it's from Ruben or not, I really like the aesthetic of this. It reminds me of the times that I go to Europe, and one of my favorite things to do there is to go to museums and look at classical art, and this has has the same vibe from that period so I really like it. It has a this is the firm is plastic but it's gold tone on the website it looked like it was wood but it's actually gold tone and it's pretty cool because as you can see it's a portrait of a person but the background is black so I don't know I think it's <laughs> pretty cool so that's that. And then the next photo or art piece that I got was also from Threshold. However, this one is from the Studio McGee line. And this is just a picture of some flowers in a vase, but I really like the look of it. And then of course it has a gold frame, which I love all things gold, if you haven't noticed that so far. So I think this looks really nice, especially for the price. So if you can find it at your local Target or online, then I would definitely consider getting it. The third piece of artwork that I decided to get was this one is a little bit bigger than the other two that I've shown so far and here it is. It's a portrait. She looks like she's in a South American or Caribbean destination because she has her little hat there and her clothes are nice and airy and I really like it because it has a portrait of a black lady in there and I love anything that is representative of us as black people and this one is actually very well done and beautiful so I'm excited to hang this. The frame may be wood or plastic uh, but it's very nice. It's white as you can see and then it has these little details at the bottom here and it is it does have a glass um, partition on it, unlike the other ones that I just showed, which were straight canvas and did not have glass on top. And the artist for this one is called Bosco Holder, whom I've never heard of, but I'm definitely interested to see what else they offer because this is a really great piece. And this is also from Target, and this is part of the Opal House line that they have, which is another great line to check out. And then the final piece that I got is, I wouldn't say huge, but bigger than the other ones so far. Okay, so here it is. It's actually bigger than the camera frame will allow me to show, so I will 
try and pop a picture up off it um, so you can see the full effect. But it's essentially a stream and just some grassy patches and it just seems pretty calming and I really like the colors in there, like the greens and the blues. Um, I think it's pretty nice the way it's set up. And this one is also canvas like the other ones and it has a wood frame as well. And this one is from the Threshold line. And then the final things that I purchased were vases and that's been my new thing. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure why. I don't buy flowers necessarily. I'll do, I do love flowers, but I don't buy like fresh flowers that have been cut. Normally, instead I've decided to get dried flowers and you'll see a few of those in the vases that I've picked. So the first vase that I got was from Target and it is this one from the Studio McGee line, which I'm really loving some of the pieces from there. So there's this and I just have some dry I believe this is wheat with a pink tint and I got these dried flowers from Marshall and TJ Maxx they always have them in stock and they're usually themed to the time of the year so these ones are a little bit more springy than the ones that they had during the winter time which were obviously winter themed so this vase reminds me of the olden days like if you were to have a water jug so I definitely had to get this they also have a shorter one I believe this one is 10 inches and the other one was 8 inches but it's I decided to just get one and I decided the bigger one looked the best so that's what I got. The last two vases are from H&M Home and we'll start with this one. So it's a black vase and it has two stems or legs um, and as you can see which is one of the things that I'm not a fan of about it is the fact that it does show fingerprints pretty easily. Uh, the material it's ceramic but the finish is kind of like a powder coat so it's kind of like a chalkboard and it has a slightly rough texture but aside from the finish which I can always wipe down I really like this vase uh, in it I have similar dried flowers to the one that I showed before and these are also from TJ Maxx and uh, Marshall slash home goods and these are from the same bouquet so you can see the wheat stem that I pulled out and put in the rush hold slash Studio McGee vase. So these are, these types of vases have been really popular recently. This one reminds me of the Love Handle vase, which is pretty popular. However, that one costs $400. Um, and those are vases that look like a uh, woman's hips and they have little handles on the side, <laughs> which is really cute actually. So if I can manage to find a cheaper version of that somewhere, then I would still get it as well. But but in the meantime, this is sufficing because this was around $30 or less. Of course, I'll put the information in the description box as well. And then the last vase that I got was this one from H&M Home. And it's the shape of a man's face however half of it is cut off which is pretty cool and i haven't found anything to put in here yet i'm thinking it would look good with something short stem but i haven't found that yet or the next idea was to put a plant in there i think it would look cute with a plant if you go on the h&m website um for this particular vase you'll see how other people have styled it and you can get some really cool ideas from that as you can see it has it's kind of like a classic um, type of sculptural piece so think like those bust and whatnot that are from the classic period like the famous one is David which is in the uh, what is that called it's in the Vatican <laughs> because I've seen it so that's what that looks like and then in a similar theme if you look behind me to the left I have a vase in the same style and that one is the figure of a woman and that one is also from H&M if you're interested I'll put that in the description box below as well but that's kind of what I'm into at the moment so that is it for my home decor haul. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them. Also, let me know what are some of your favorite places to shop at for home decor because I am always on the lookout for great pieces. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you like home decor content and other lifestyle and money content as well, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Thanks and I'll see you in the next video.